In a galaxy far, far away, lives a powerful Sith Lord, a cat of unmatched cunning. Across the stars, a brave Jedi dog watches over peace and justice. Once again, FlexClip has updated some of its AI features. If you go into here, you'll see the tab new, new, new. But I'm particularly excited about the AI text to image. Very similar to Mid Journey, Dala, Runway. Now they have this in FlexClip. And I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can use something as simple as a text to image generator. I want to create a video. I don't want to think about it. I just want FlexClip to do everything for me. So first off, I'm going to use the AI video script generator. Now I basically asked the generator to make a galactic clash between a Sith Lord cat and a Jedi dog. And this is what it came out with. And the storyline is fine, but the pictures that it came with it is just complete and utter nonsense. It just makes no sense. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take their description, say wide shot of a vast galaxy twinkling stars and distant planet. I'm going to copy and paste that into the text to image generator. So here we are in the text to AI. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go here, control V because I already copied it. And now I want to create basically what it says. Obviously we have a few choices here. We can go down here and then we can choose a star that we want. I'm going to let the AI do all the heavy lifting. Now you can generate a fast pro ultra. So I'm going to use the ultra. I'm going to do the ratio of 16 by nine, and I'm going to ask for four different images. And it's now going to generate, it's going to cost me roughly 12 coins and off we go. So AI has now finished generating the four images. You can make as many as you like, just pick one that you think suits your story. And I think this one is quite neat. If I click on this, I can actually turn this into a video now. But I don't want to do that. I want to do it all by myself. So all I want to do is download this picture and then save it. And then I'm going to upload that into the script generator. Okay, so I've got the whole project now imported into the timeline. It's already here. I can edit everything. Obviously, I will preview it now. In a galaxy far, far away. Okay, the voice I'm not really happy with. Do I want the text here? Maybe or maybe not. But again, everything in here I can change. But the cool thing is the main storyline, as I start playing it, I can see it in a galaxy far, far away. This is exactly what I typed into the text generator and it's over here now. And all I need to do is click and drag this and you'll see a little icon appear on the actual clip and release. Now, if I play it in a galaxy far, far away, it has already applied some video effects so it automatically stays there. But now this makes more sense. This is now in a galaxy far, far away. So let's go on to the next one over here. It says a Sith Lord of catch of unmatched cunning. So that would be this one here. And I'm just going to click and drag that one. Lives a powerful Sith Lord, a cat of unmatched. And so forth. So I'm just going to keep adding this. Here's another one. I'm going to drag that, drop it here. And I'm slowly building up a perfect story or the story that I really want to ex express to my audience in a galaxy far far away lives a power All right now the pictures now match the actual storyline whereas if I move this forward it kind of doesn't really make any sense and this is how I'm going to build up my story by using the script generator and then making all the photos to match the storyline and that my friends I think is pretty neat way of using AI tools that flex clip is constantly developing let's quickly have a look at some of the features on how you would go about using the text to image generator so obviously here it's very simplistic you put in your prompt to generate the image that you want but i'm going to do something different i'm going to use this little thing here called inspire me and then see what it comes up with it so it says a snow lab it's stalking so let's have a look at that the only difference between fast pro and ultra is the is the speed in which it delivers the, the result other than that the results are going to be the same i mean that's pretty impressive in my opinion it literally looks like a real photo now i can go one further i can actually ask it to improve on the actual prompt itself so ai prompts click here and then i'm going to ask to improve that prompt okay let's generate that so it's going to give me a lot more detail and let's see what it can do. And here's the final results. Is it better than the other one? Not too sure. I mean, they're very close, but I can go into the history and then compare it. So this was the first one. This was the second one. And to be honest, they're almost identical, but I have played with it and some of them really did improve and others kind of kept it mediocre. For example, I did this one here. As you can see, I generate a lot of these. 
And this was the original, and by the time I finished, I was getting, you know, something like this, which is more artsy. So I think it works for some pictures and it won't work for other pictures. But you can always also go into the style and then apply a different style to the photo you want. And then you can change the ratio simply by just selecting the ratio here. And like I said here, I think it's just the difference in speed in which it delivers. In the image count, you can go up to four images per turn. And that, my friends, is just how easy it is to use it. And I can tell you for certainty, this and Mid Journey, I think they're almost in par. And as always, thanks for watching.